All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, you inglorious bastards and magnificent. Uh, let me adjust my seat. It is I, Dr. Mo, and we're back for my thought of the day. And we're going to talk about a couple of things today. Let's get the notes going. Open up the notes. We're going to talk about what's going on right now. China got <laughs> China panel probed U.S. cuck. I mean, this is what happens when you get sent to ch suck Chinese, but we'll get into that. Um, we're going to talk about Donald Trump being back, his speech at CPAC. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Parler because it seems like they sold out to the big tech censorship. And by that, and, and we're going to talk about Biden bombing Syria again because why not? Let's, let's, let's bomb countries for no reason. But before we get into that, uh, we we haven't been posting on YouTube because um, we're getting strikes and videos removed. So it's just a matter of time before we're removed off the YouTube, just like we were moved off of Facebook and Twitter. So please like, share, subscribe, review, use the tools to like share us out there. Uh, share us on Facebook and Twitter if you can, just to come piss them off. Join us on Minds. <laughs> You know how it goes, Be become the all-tech revolution, but the best way to support us is really going directly to our website at www.thatsthepoint.squarespace.com and signing up for the email list and or considering becoming a member for $5 a month and getting the various benefits that come with that. But the choice is up to you, free or paid membership. The best way to support us is at the website directly and if you do decide to become a member for five dollars a month you'll get a, a one-time mug with the logo on it become part of our just that seems to be the thing that a lot of us right-leaning I, I wanted I, I was gonna say conservative but I'm not really conservative my dog needs to stop eating things off the floor but I'm more conservative than I am liberal I guess but that's what we do. You get uh, early access to That's On Point, the podcast that goes live every Monday at 9 p.m. You can get it early. If you can get it the weekend before, once it's done editing, it goes up. And you get unfiltered access to my thought of the day here. And we're going to we're gonna think about adding more benefits, maybe do some extra um, podcasts. We haven't figured that out yet, but we're going to sweeten that pot because the best way to survive is to have our own platform. But anyway, let's get into this. So Biden sent these cuckold politicians to go suck Chinese, and China made them literally bend over a table and <laughs> and probe the masses with a cotton swab. Uh, now, there's some conflicting articles out there you might have read that says that China denied this. At first, China did deny it, but then China came back and said it was conducted by mistake. <laughs> by mistake. <laughs> These assholes, not only are they capitulating the China, they went over there and allowed them to get anally raped. Like, what the f***? We need to get these people out of office. If you're willing to allow yourself to be anally raped, you should not be in charge of anything. You just shouldn't be. Like, what the f*** are these people thinking? Like, you're going to wait till you get home to be mad about Like, I would have turned around. I would have been like, well, then I'm done. I'm not. I'm not even like, no, goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see what the BBC has says. Well, yeah, BBC is saying China is denying it, right? But this was as of four days ago. The U.S. media reported diplomats has complained after being made to undergo procedure. Chinese cities yeah, introduced anal swabs, said and it was better. So yeah, so according to BBC, anal swabs involved inserting a, co a cotton swab three to five centimeters. 1.2 to 2 inches in the anus and gently rotating it. <laughs> it is not known how many U.S. men may have had the test. <laughs> like, may have had the test. Like, like, even BBC is like saying, they're saying they denied it, but I don't think they denied it. <laughs> yeah, China gave U.S. anal COVID tests an error, according to Vice. So, like, there's a conflicting news articles on this. I say they did it. I say these assholes. Like, why would you go to China? To suck Chinese and capitulate to China and then come back here and complain about being anally swabbed if you weren't anally swabbed. I think China raped them. I do. China probably wants their DNA. Like, how the hell can you test for a respiratory disease with an anal COVID swab? 
That's that's like that's saying that sounds more retarded than wearing double masks. <laughs> we have lived, we have moved into the goddamn twilight zone. I, I don't know how the f we move forward. Like, can we even move forward as a cohesive society when there's this many cuckoo from Cocoa Puffs people moving around? You know, I, I blame it on closing all the goddamn state-run mental institutions in the '90s, allowing all these fucking crazy people to run around, and breed, and be loose on the streets. Can people a cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? So yeah, that's where we're at. It's 2021, and you get anal probed for a fucking respiratory disease that's not even that deadly. I don't even understand anymore. Like, how did people become this dumb? I don't know. Let me know. What What do you think? Would you allow yourself to get anally probed for dipl diplomacy? Oh, 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 will you will you be on my like me and my camp and get back on that plane and head back? Like, oh, I'm not I'm done with this meeting. I'm done with this meeting right now. <laughs> oh my god, no, no, just I just the world is insane. What? I think they're doing it for other reasons. I think they're getting DNA. It's a good place to get DNA because they they want they want to like get Americans DNA to rule the biotech and industry. They've said so. So I think this is just an excuse to get American DNA. I can't believe those assholes allowed it to happen and then complained about it. If you were going to complain about it, how about just not doing it? Turn around and going home, <laughs> putting your motherfucking foot down. <laughs> but no, you bent over and allowed them to give it to you. And they gave it to you. <laughs> they gave it to you, Rob. <laughs> I wonder if it's more comfortable than giving that shit shoved up your nose. Uh, either way, I think it's all ridiculous. But anyways... That's all we have for China today, and then we're going to move on to the next topic. China is fucking going crazy, anal probing people for ridiculous reasons, and uh, they can go off with that. I'm just saying.